What's good, e-bikers? It's raining today, so uh, no riding, but I wanted to talk about some of the new e-bikes coming out in 2024. I have a new post up over on chris-cross.com if you want to check it out. It's the uh, lead story this week. And uh, I kind of talk about the new e-bikes I've seen so far come out, or about to come out. And let's go through those, my my top choices here. So we'll start out with the uh, the Electric X-Peak. I'll be getting this bike, uh, I think, next week, actually. Uh, this is their e-mountain bike that uh, Electric's coming out with. Uh, 1299 26x4. It's EMTB rated. It's got a 750-watt motor. It's their new uh, Whisper Quiet motor. So it's going to be really quiet. And uh, it's got a uh, RST front suspension Renegade fork there. Uh, should have really good travel. And uh, a bunch of accessories you can get with it. comes in step-through or step-over uh, frames. And, um, yeah, if you pre-order now, actually, they're not shipping till uh, the high step is not shipping till March 4th. And the step-through is shipping second week in February. So it uh, looks like I'm getting the first one of the first shipments, I think, um, next week. So, yeah, check out Electric uh, X-Peak. It's their new, you know, basically, off-road e-bike. It uh, doesn't fold. has a 14-amp-hour battery in here. And uh, comes with the accessories you see here on the screen. So that's number one on the list. Number two is, let's go to Utopia. They have two bikes, actually. Uh, they have the Carbon One Pro here. It's a new version of their carbon fiber e-bike. I reviewed their first one a couple of years ago, actually. Uh, this one's got a chain instead of a belt drive and a bunch of other new tech there. I think it's like 30 pounds, something like that. Uh, here's the cord that's fairly new as well. They've had that, I think, for sale for a number of months. But here's the one that really caught my eye, which is this Fusion here. So this is a dual battery, dual motor, commuter-style e-bike with a really unique-looking frame. And uh, I think it's uh, pretty interesting. Um, it's not coming out until July, they tell me. Uh, you can sign up here, get your email on uh, newyourtopia.com. I'll put links to everything in the description of the video as well. Uh, and uh, you can get alerted for it. Um, so just look at this thing. It's a pretty, uh, I think it won their design award at for e-bikes at CES. But uh, pretty interesting looking commuter style. Um, it's got fenders on there. It's got two batteries. I think this is the second battery here. And uh, it's got some really interesting tech built into it. It has Bluetooth. Um, it has like, you can actually ask it questions like chat GPT style from the display. It's designed by this guy here, whoever he is. Um, up to 1,000 watts, dual motor, up to 200 kilometers. I think it's 100 miles uh, or something like that. Um, somebody do the math for me. Premium carbon ensures lightweight performance. So this is going to be carbon fiber too. Uh, front drive mode, rear drive mode, dual drive mode, throttle mode it's going to have. Um, suspension fork. It says fat tire. Um, not sure. It looks more like, those are those are not fat tires, those are skinny tires, uh, like 27-inch maybe. But uh, yeah, so that's this is the coolest looking e-bike, I think, on the list maybe. Um, so that's Ertopia. Uh, let's move on to uh, Van Powers. I, I wrote about them uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, they have two new bikes coming out. They've got this uh, Urban Cross, this lightweight gravel e-bike uh, that you can see here. Uh, very nice looking. Um, but here's the Grand Teton. This is their new mid-drive uh, mountain bike, mountain e-bike. Uh, it's going to have 20 miles an hour, Tektro four-piston hydraulic disc brakes, um, 120 millimeters of travel, air suspension fork, and carry up to 400 pounds payload. Uh, so that thing is cool. It's not on their website yet. Don't know when it's coming out. Um, but these two coming from Van Powers are really nice looking e-bikes, uh, particularly the Grand Teton here. So I'm really excited to uh, hopefully get that one. We'll see. Next up, I'm getting this bike too. Go Power Bike. So uh, this is the Billy Goat V2. Uh, this thing is sick. Um, I'll be getting this in March. You can order it now. I've got a coupon code. If you use code crisscrossed. You can get 10% off uh, the Billy Goat, which is going for $2,099. To me, this is a, a bargain. Um, look at what you get. You get a 2,000-watt motor that peaks up to 2,600 uh, watts, 110 newton meters of torque, a 60-volt, 20-amp-hour battery, 
that's on par with the, uh, the Wired Freedom, a range of 50 miles on pedal assist, 28 miles on, on throttle. Max speed, here's where it, it kind of uh, breaks the mold, 40 to 50 miles an hour, uh, depending on rider weight and terrain. It comes with a 50-amp controller and a full-twist throttle. Um, max rider weight of 450 pounds, it weighs 95 pounds. comes with uh, Innova 20 by 4.5-inch tires, four-piston hydraulic disc brakes, um, a larger, more comfortable seat, 33 inches uh, minimum seat height, and uh, anti anti theft anti theft locks comes with it. Um, this thing is a really cool looking uh, uh, e moped style. I like that style itself. Kind of reminds me of that EUI S4, just in a more powerful, more refined frame here and package. Uh, just look at this thing: dual crown fork there. Dual suspension, you get the little Billy Goat signature right there. Um, I love how the seat is angled like that. Should be good for my tall frame. So it should fit me a little bit better than the traditional flat e-moped style uh, seats. You can get it with or without pedals, by the way, which is interesting. You can see it comes here with pegs. Um, let me see here. And uh, that's a, an interesting uh you know, feature, a uh, few, few bikes you can do that with today. Um, here's a look at that coil spring fork there. So, yeah, the Billy Goat V2, that's coming in March. And, um, again, use crisscross, get 10% off. I'll throw the uh, coupon in the description there as well. So definitely looking forward to that one. It's one of my, that could be the e-bike of the year uh, with those speeds, that look. And uh, what you get for the money. So we'll have to see. All right. Next on the list, we're going to go with the Himway Cobra. Himway has a couple e-bikes coming out. Um, this is the new Cobra Pro. Uh, Mid-drive, dual suspension. I mean, this thing, looks it's just a complete off-road monster. Right, this is the Humvee of e-bikes. And uh, comes in this, like, white, uh, white and black frame or this gray one here, I guess. Uh, they've done some upgrades to it. Um, let's see here. They have 1,300 watts of peak motor power. So it's a 1,000 watt motor. Uh, 26 by 4.8 inch fat tires. 1,000 watt, of course. 20 miles an hour, 80 miles of range. True four bar linkage, torque sensor, and UL certification. Uh, so you can trust that. Here's the Bepang M620 motor. 160 newton meters of torque. I mean, this thing is going to climb anything and run over anything. Here's the look at the uh, display there. Four bar linkage. So uh, stay out. That's this is the most expensive but you bike on the list at about four grand. Um, you can get uh, if you buy two, you can get a discount there. But they also have these kid bikes coming out, which I thought were interesting. Uh, so if I was like ten years old, I'd be like, yeah, mom and dad, give me this thing. Uh, just really cool looking. There's no pedals on these. They're kind of like little scooters. I think they go like 50 miles an hour or something like that. Uh, let's see here. Ages 4 to 12. Uh, so they're small. Um, they have 16 by 3 inch tires, a 360 watt LG battery. The motor is 350 watt. And uh, I'm not sure what the top speed is. Can't be more than 20, I wouldn't think. I would hope not. Uh, for a kid, I'd say 15 miles an hour is probably the max they should go. But, um, yeah, it doesn't say. Oh, here it is, yeah. Three-speed modes up to 15 miles an hour. So uh, that seems pretty reasonable uh, for a little kid to ride that. So pretty cool. I'm seeing more kids now get e-bikes. I just had in my town uh, some parents hired me to do some uh, assemblies, and they bought kids. They bought e-bikes for their uh, their young teen, uh, teen boys. So uh, I've seen those kids running around town a few times now on their uh, totem e-bikes. They got them from Amazon. So there you go. That's the uh, C1 from Himaway. Uh, two more e-bikes on the list. We've got the Propella Mini. Uh, this one's not coming out until May. I think I'll be getting it. I did contact them. Um, but it's not shipping until May. $8.99. So to me, this is like electric XB light uh, comparison. Um, comes with a 350-watt motor. Peaks up to 550, I think. It says limited quantity for spring delivery. Reserve yours today. Uh, it's going to come with a rack and front and rear lighting. Pretty cool looking look. It's like electric BMX style, you know. Um, pretty cool looking. Uh, so uh, $8.99, pretty nice. Minimal size, maximum impact. 
The battery's pretty small. It only it's only sixty one inches wide. Um, here's what some of the you get. You get a throttle. You get a front light. Two point five two point two five inch tires. Uh, low maintenance. It's a single speed only. Uh, here's the battery. It's replaceable. They say um, it's only a it's a really small battery. It's thirty six volts. 355 watt hours. I think it's like 7.8 amp hour or something like that. Uh, it says 20 to 40 miles of range. Seems realistic. And what does it weigh? It weighs. How much does it weigh? Oh, 38 pounds. So it's even lighter than the XP lights, which is I think 46. So, and that includes the battery kickstand and the rear rack. So, this is one of the lightweight e-bikes I've, I've seen to date now. Um, next to the, uh, like, the Velatric one. Um, but uh, this looks like a pretty cool little, you know, uh, electric BMX bike that uh, I think people will like. They should sell a lot of these, basically with the price point as well. Um, one-year warranty, 14-day return policy, easy assembly. And uh, I love the, uh, I haven't had a propeller yet, but I love the blue rims they use. It's just a really cool looking uh, style. And um, yeah, this should be a cool little bike to uh, tool around the neighborhood with. So stay tuned for that. And let's see, finally, last thing on my list is the new Segways. So they have two new e bikes coming out. One's really, to me, it's an electric motorcycle, even though it has pedals. But let's take a look here at uh, what the, they give you here. Let me maximize this. <clears throat> Here's that CES. That's the uh, Zyber right there. Comes with airlock. This is a pretty badass looking uh, e moped style. There's the Safari. It's got smart navigation, it says. Um, I'm not showing much of the bike here. Come on. There, look at that screen. It's pretty cool. Yeah, as your phone is integrated, that's pretty cool. There's the Safari. That's the bike I would like. It's kind of a 26 by 4, I think. There it is. Um, pretty nice looking. It's a step through frame. No word on pricing yet. No word on delivery. I went to the Segway website and uh, it's not even on there. So um, you can't buy it yet. But it certainly looks like a pretty cool combination here of uh, e bikes that they're uh, coming out with from Segway. So e bikes starting to get more sophisticated. I think Segways. Starting to push that limit there with uh, some of those. So, yeah, check out Segway once they come out. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. I will uh, see you back on the road. Coming up, we've got the Ride One Up Portola. I got the Electric X Peak coming, and I think I have a scooter coming too. I didn't want it, but they're sending it anyway. So, I'll see you next time on Crisscrossed. Thanks for watching, guys.